What is thermal conductivity? Before starting the lecture, click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free. In the previous video, we learned all about the heat transfer. Now, what is thermal conductivity? Well, the most easy definition of thermal conductivity is how heat can readily be transferred from a hot object to a cold object by a matter. For example, during cooking, talic pot absorbs heat from the flames and transfer it to the food or vegetables. This property of the metallic pot is known as a thermal conductivity. Secondly, when you keep something in the micro oven, again the metallic plate absorbs heat and transfer it to the food. So, this heat transferring property is known as a thermal conductivity. Thus, we learn that thermal conductivity means how heat can readily be transferred. Now, let me teach you that many students misunderstood the concept of thermal conductivity. You should note it down this example. Consider a hot object and a cold object. Now, if I connect these two objects using a metallic rod, heat will transfer through this metallic rod to the cold object. So, this transferring of heat or heat conduction through the metallic rod from the hot object to the cold object is called thermal conductivity. Let me repeat it. This transferring of heat or heat conduction through the metallic rod from the hot object to the cold object is called thermal conductivity. Remember that different objects have different thermal conductivity. For instance, consider the same hot and cold objects. This time, instead of metallic rod, I insert plastic rod between them. We will observe that comparatively less heat will transfer from the hot object towards the cold object. Thus, we therefore say that metals like this rod have high thermal conductivity while non-metals like this plastic have low thermal conductivity. If you wonder about this difference in thermal conductivity, then the answer is very simple. Within metals, there is a sea of delocalized electrons. Delocalized electron means free electrons that can move from one corner to other corner of the metal. So, metals therefore have high thermal conductivity. While non-metals do not have a sea of delocalized electrons. But they do pass heat due to phonons which are waves in the letters. One of the best applications of thermal conductivity is designing cooking objects like this kettle. Its body is made up of metal like steel or iron etc. Its handle is made up of plastic. Because metal conducts more heat and water or tea will absorb more heat, thus it will reduce the cooking period. Secondly, its handle is made up of plastic because plastic materials conduct less heat. And when we touch the handle, less heat will transfer to our hand. Different objects have different thermal conductivity. For example, the thermal conductivity of copper is 401 watt per meter Kelvin. The thermal conductivity of styrofoam is 0.03 watt per meter Kelvin. The thermal conductivity of vacuum is 0 watt per meter Kelvin. It means no thermal conductivity in the vacuum. To summarize my lecture, we learned that thermal conductivity measures how heat can readily be transferred from a hot object to a cold object. For example, during cooking, the metallic pot conduct heat. Secondly, we learn that metallic objects conduct more heat than non-metallic objects. For example, the body of kettle is made up of metal and handle is made up of plastic. This was all about thermal conductivity.